Hey everybody, this is Kyla Monarch. If you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to look at this review. I really do appreciate it. If you are coming back for a fire review, welcome back fam. It's so good to see you. I hope all is well with you and yours. Today I am going to do, yes, I have heard you loud and clear. I'm doing a review on the LPV Anchor Holster. Yes, the Anchor Holster. And Anchor Holster. You know I was like, oh no, Anchor Holsters are just for backup only. But you know what? I reconsider what you guys told me and I am going to do the review today. However, I can tell you that I am wearing it right now with just a regular pair of my jeans. And you know it is not jiving whatsoever. And... Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, it looks like I am actually wearing an ankle monitor. It looks like I am wearing an ankle monitor. You see this? This is definitely not screaming concealment at all, okay? We do not want this. If we are going to carry conceal using an ankle holster, we definitely don't want this, okay? So it's either going to have to be some changes made. Either what I'm wearing is going to have to change or I'm going to have to get a smaller gun to go inside of this holster so that it doesn't show like this, guys. So, you know what? I can do one of those suggestions like right now. So, I'm going to change outfits. See which outfit I can actually wear with this anchor holster and with the current EDC that I have, which is the Sid Sour P365. So come on back. We're going to get into this meat. You know how we do. We get into the meat of the matter on all of these holsters. So I'll see you. Come on back. We're going to get into it. <music> thing before I change outfits. I noticed also that when I'm walking with this anchor holster in my um, current EDC, every now and then, okay, it's not every time I'm taking a step or every time I'm walking, but every now and then I find my, uh, my right leg hitting the grip of my handgun, okay? So, I want you to keep that in mind, but also, too, I am what they call not needed in a way, okay? So, that could be the reason why I keep hitting the grip of my handgun. I do have it on the opposite leg of my dominant hand. My dominant hand and where I normally pull of a draw is on the right. So, when you're wearing an anchor holster... You normally put it on the opposite leg of your dominant hand, okay? So, it's easy for you to grab down and pull out to do your draw, okay? So, I just wanted to point that out to you that as you know, that when I walk, I am hitting that. So, that's something to keep in mind, okay? So, moving right along, I'm going to go and change outfits and I'll be right back in a snap. All right, guys, I'm back. So this outfit that I'm wearing is something that is something that I would just wear to work. Um, but the legs on my pants are wide leg. And let me just pan you guys down so you can see exactly how this looks. It looks totally better than the jeans, okay? All right, so here we are. Now you guys can pretty much see how this outfit is turning out, okay? This is something that I would normally wear to work, but the point is, you can't tell that I'm carrying, even with these wide leg uh, dress pants on. You see that? Can't even tell that I'm carrying in these, okay? And again, these are like your wide leg dress pants, something that you would wear to work. But you see, all of that is underneath these pants, okay? And that's a great way to conceal. 
And these pants don't even have belt loops. You see, nothing around here. Okay, so I can't wear a belt, but this is but I do have other options to conceal carry. I possibly could wear a belt around my waist and add a holster onto it, a, a hybrid holster onto it. I could do that, but this ankle holster is it seems like it's the better idea or the better way to go. However, you do have to practice the draw with this, you know, like what I was explaining it to you earlier. You have to use your dominant hand to go across, okay, to go to that, that leg, the opposite leg, in order to pull and to draw. And you have to practice that, okay? You have to practice that. Because my thing has always been, if you're going down to an ankle, an ankle holster, you're not going to be aware for a second of your surroundings, you know? So, some people like to get on one knee and go down to get that gun out of that holster. Some people like to do it from a stand-up position, go here, but at the same time, keeping your head and your eyes up, you know? Um, some people even like to go uh, do a stoop down to it Go um, for, for, for the ones that can still do that. Um, for my seniors out there, I don't know if this will be an option for you. You can practice with it and see how well you can do with it. Some of my seniors out there are very active. They can get around and they can move better than some of these young people. And I am having a flash. Hold on. Let me let me get my fan, y'all. <laughs> but some of them can get around better than some of the young people. So if that is you, I would say practice pulling that gun or pulling your weapon out of that holster. Also, as we are driving, okay, that's one more thing that I want to point out. Since we don't have a holster here, okay, we, as we're sitting, we can go down here to the opposite leg to pull that gun out, okay? That's only if you have to. This is only if you have to. You may can use a taser. You may can use pepper gel, pepper spray. Uh, you may can use a stun gun. You may can use anything you can get your hands on pretty much to defend yourself, okay? If you have to use your hands, your fingernails, whatever the case may be, your keys, anything, anything, Think outside the box when you're protecting yourself, okay? There are no limits when you're protecting yourself. Use whatever you have to use to defend yourself, okay? Now, I want to I want to do a demonstration as if I'm sitting in the car. And then we're going to go into the schematics. <laughs> we're going to go into the schematics of this anchor holster okay yeah i think that's yeah i think that's good bring it over a little bit yeah that's great okay so we're sitting in the car we're driving <laughs> boom 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 what have you and something's going on whatever we're coming here you see it here? Because remember, the window is showing this part, okay, of your body. Something's happening. As it's happening, you need to start to pull up this, your, your, your leg, the leg of your pants. You need to start to pull it up. Get it ready. In position. You can pull it up over just, just enough so that you can reach here and get your weapon. Get that grip. Okay, you don't have to put it all the way up like I did. You can just keep it just like above the grip of that handgun. Okay, just keep it right down, you know. And then if nothing else pops off, you can just bring your, your, your pants leg back down over it. But if it escalates, then you know how to handle yourself because you have this. You have your keys, you have your purse or what have you. You have other things in your view that you can use to defend yourself. So keep, just keep those, keep those items in mind, okay? So say you have it here, 
and I'm going to do a draw from it. And you must practice this draw. You must. It's very pivotal that you practice this draw. Okay. Okay, so you're in your car. And you're driving. <laughs> Just know that if anything was to happen and you are approached, record what's going on. Okay, definitely do that. But if it starts to get to a point where somebody has you blocked in, you can't get away, or what have you, just know that you have your firearm on your opposite leg over here, okay? If it gets too intense, just start to bring your pants leg up above the grip area just in case you have to get it, okay? That's an easier way, okay? Make sure that it's ready and that it's in position, okay? Now, as I was walking, I really didn't feel any extra weight of the handgun with the ammo. I really didn't feel any extra weight, but I love weights on my legs anyway. So, I this this probably, um, this probably was a factor for me, but for some of us that don't lift weights or what have you, using the, your, your leg muscles, that's something you want to practice with. Buy you some leg weights at the store. And they have them in all different weight sizes. Start to use your legs with those weight muscles. And just walk around with them, okay? Walk around in the house. Walk around to the gym, whatever the case may be. And you will be amazed at how much strength your legs would build if you would do that, okay? And it also will help you with something like this as well. Also, dealing with the ankle holster sitting it's easier to get to, okay, naturally. It's easier to get to, you, but you must practice. You know my mantra, you must practice every draw. Practice every draw with every host that you get, okay? Don't go out here ill-prepared because you haven't practiced with that holster, okay? You must practice with it. So you're here, you're driving, boom, 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 okay? And since we are covering this, I'm going to go ahead and get into the schematics of this particular holster. This is the LPV holster. You see this here? Okay. This is how it looks. And I'm going to take it off and we're going to talk about it. And it's pretty basic and pretty standard. To me, it, it appears to be a really good holster. I'm already sweating. <laughs> You know how it is with menopause and and then it's super warm outside. You know, we have storms coming in and out everywhere. I'm going to sit this to the, well, no, I'm just going to move this chair. <laughs> just go ahead and move this chair. However, I am going to sit my EDC to the side, okay? All right. So I have taken off the LPV anchor holster. There's the logo there. This is the top part of the holster. This is the part that goes around your calf. It's supposed to fit between 18 and 19 inches. Okay, so if your calf muscle is more than the 19 inches, you may have to come up with something creative for this because this is a one size fit all kind of deal. It doesn't come in small, medium, large, whatever. Um, one thing you could do, um, I saw one of my clients do it. They actually added a, a an additional piece of their cord on this end so that it'll be able to fit around um, her calf. Okay, so you have the uh, receiving end of the real cord here, and then of course. You have this, this um, nylon belt, and then you have the buckle here, and then you have your loops there, okay? And then at the bottom, you have um, another receiving end for the Velcro. This part goes on the lower part of your leg. And then you have a pocket for your, for an extra mag or maybe a knife. It is sewn in and it is enclosed. This pocket here is actually for your handgun, okay? It fits any size handgun from a subcompact 
uh, or a mini compact or micro compact, some people call them, all the way up to a full size handgun. If it's in here, they also have added this extra. You see that they added this little part there for your ankle, okay? Because if you're wearing um, a full size um, gun, that well, I'm going to say that muzzle in particular and part of that um, sliding barrel will be hitting you here, okay? So they built this little portion here to protect your ankle from that, okay? Because as you're walking and as you're running, your ankle is going to be feeling the edge of that every time, and it's not going to be comfortable. So they added this little part here for that. And, of course, this is where the handgun goes in. They have two types of attachments. They have the magnetic button, which is like that, okay? And then, of course, they have just the regular snap, okay? The regular snap, I think, comes in black, whereas the magnetic um, comes in the silver color. And then over here is another portion of a receiving end of the Velcro. You flip it over or flip it around, you see it is 100% neoprene. It is neoprene all the way to the... Um, to the giver of the giver end of the velcro and then of course you have your two snaps here and that's attaching the um, nylon belt and buckle from the other side <laughs> it keeps one to attach to my shirt <laughs> and then you there's all this part here it's the part that comes down your leg that is also neoprene you see that all of that is neoprene yeah can you see that guys yeah very good yeah all right and then of course the bottom is neoprene and you see how that stitching is so that that can be like a v a v like enclosed area for the handgun to sit in and also for that trigger guard and that trigger to be inside of that holster that holster pocket okay and also neoprene and then the giver okay all right so that's basically how that goes okay and of course you will put it on here you'll wrap it around the top of your calf also one more thing i need to point out you can wear this on either leg okay now i was telling you or saying to you to wear it on the opposite leg of your dominant hand but if that is not how your body is flowing and i just thought of this if that is not how your body is flowing by all means wear it on your dominant side leg okay if you are right-handed and just going to your left is not mm, wear it on the right because this particular anchor holster you can wear it on either leg Okay, so um, remember that whichever way your body can go or wants to go, you do that. Okay, because it's all about comfortability. It's also about functionality. So you're going to have your handgun inside of that pocket, just like that. And you guys know how I feel about a gun being inside of something this soft. Y'all, you already know, I will want something kites or something made of some polymer material to cover this trigger and cover the trigger guard, okay? Now, there are some um, anchor holsters out there. I think Alien Gear has one that has the kites portion here on the anchor guard. If you, uh, if you prefer and if it feels better to wear it on that right leg, right hand dominant. You're going to wear it on the outside of the leg, okay? And I'm going to show you that in a minute. My left is same thing. You can also wear this on the left, on the left leg, left hand dominant, okay? Because this, um, this anchor holster is ambidextrous. You're going to wear it on the outside of your leg like this, okay? Just like that. And then you'll be able to pull with your left hand, left hand dominant, okay? Wear it, practice with it, try it with it, okay? 
Now, I'm going to try it with one more outfit, and I'm going to do it still on the same leg, but I'm going to bring it in, okay? So, stay with me. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so like a dress like this, a lot of people will call this like a bodycon dress um, because it shows every nook and cranny, but I like it because it comes long, all right, and it can conceal this anchor holster, okay, so I'm going to um, I'm gonna pan you guys down and I'm going to show you guys how a dress like this so long see how long it comes okay how it can properly to see your handgun with the anchor holster so you know I wear my I'm right handed down I'm right hand dominant but I wear it on my left leg so I can go up, come this way to do a draw okay so put the cab part on first which is here, okay? And then I come down and I go ahead and I attach the bottom part, the part that goes around my ankle. And you see that part there? It's on the ankle, right there. You take your belt, your nylon belt, you bring it through that front hole all the way, then bring it back through that back hole, the second hole and tighten it up tighten your buckle up okay right there so that it's tight around your calf not too tight but you know comfortable tight if you have enough to go into that first loop put it in there put it in that first loop okay and this is the actual holster here with the v compartment here okay and I'm going to get my firearm, and we're going to put it in here, okay, like this, all right, and these are the magnetic buttons, and they snap like that, and you cannot tell that I am carrying, okay, but remember in the beginning, I mentioned to you that I'm a little not needed, and at times, I hit where well, this leg hits this grip. And I did that like a few seconds earlier. I felt this right leg hit the, um, the grip of that gun. Okay? But it's not every time. It's just every now and then. Okay? And I'm having a flash. So you guys know I'm fatting. But you see... The level of concealment with a dress this long, and you're wearing an, an ankle holster, okay? So that's something to consider, all right? And you are going to practice. You are definitely going to practice drawing from this holster if you're standing, okay? I'm going to pan you guys up um, and practice as much as you need to. If it is the anchor holster, you practice drawing from it. You practice at home. But when you practice drawing with it, either you're going to get on that knee, which I'm not going to do. You're going to get on that one knee and practice it that way. Or you're coming from um, a standing position going to it. But even in going into a standing position, never take your eyes off of your threat. Okay? Never take your eyes off your threat. Never look away from your threat, okay? Um, people say, oh, I could get somewhere, hide behind something, and then get my gun. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that, that could work, you know? However, keep your eyes in the back of your head because even when you're going somewhere to hide, to try to get your weapon, something could be right there behind you, you know, that could cause you some deadly harm. So, Always keep those peripherals going. Keep those eyes in the back of your head. And I'm going to do a draw from this anchor holster. I'm not going to even be paying attention to speed at this point because you know this is a this is a second option for me. My first option is up here around this area. So I'm going to just do maybe a couple of draws for you. 
But again, like I said, it's my second option. So say a situation comes and something's going on. I'm, first of all, I'm already pulling I'm already pulling up my dress, which is wrong because I don't want my threat to see my gun. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do something that's gonna have me to get low while they're looking at me. You know, how in the world is that gonna happen? But again, that comes through practice. Some people are very speedy with it. They're very fast with it. But again, we're not going to be concerned about speed. But you're going to go here. Remember, you got to keep your eyes up. Head and eyes up. So if you're going to go down here, going here, you know where that gun is on your ankle. You're going to pull it out here. And you're here. Okay? That involves practice. Consistent practice. Okay? And of course... It's all about speed and pulling it out, not really speed and placing it back, okay? So that's something that you need to keep in mind as well. So, excuse me, I just want to reiterate to you that practice with this anchor holster, okay? It's very great. It's great if you can pull it out and pull it out fast from an anchor holster, okay? But... If you can't right now, practice until you are able to, okay? And memorize where this gun is on your leg. Memorize the placement. Memorize the holstering placement, okay? So you don't have to look down at it to reholster it or look down at it to pull it in a draw. Or you don't have to look at it, you know, to draw. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, guys, that's all that I have for this review on the LPV Ink Holster. I think I want to do a review on the Die Hard Holster. <laughs> I got to find out who makes it. It could be the Santas. I got to find out. Uh, but um, I'll let you know when I come out with it. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your comments, for your ideas, for your questions. Thank you guys just for the interaction. I really enjoyed and um, continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of this year. Help me to get there. And guys, I just thank you all so much for everything. You guys continue to be safe. Stay vigilant. Stay watchful. Stay, stay woke. Okay. Continue to use those peripherals no matter what. Okay. And you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next review. And it's going to be sooner than later. I told you. I told the last review it was going to be sooner than later. And here I am, okay? In under a month. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. You guys take care. Mwah.